Cardiac caps, Dan. Um, what do their recent, their recent strong finishes not giving up say about this team? They're, they came back from three goals down against Tampa. They came back three goals down against uh, Philly just the other night. I mean, I think they're a very skilled offensive team with some of the best offensive players in the recent NHL. You know, I, I, part of this cardiac caps business is how great they've been in the shootout because if you come back and lose in overtime or lose in the shootout, I guess losing the shootout especially, it's a slightly less celebratory right. feeling than all these games where they're getting these wins. And so, you know, it's great. They have skilled play. I don't think it's a coincidence that they're winning these games in the shootout. They have extremely offensive skilled players. So, I mean, it's, it's great. And, and the points that they get now will never be taken away from them. I think that it doesn't necessarily take away some, from some of the more, you know, disturbing or concerning parts of the team, which include, you know, what's going on with some of the bottom lines, what's going on with the blue line, Holpe, letting in a couple of softies here and there when you really need him not to be doing that. You've got three goalies now mm -hmm. traveling to Philadelphia. I mean, I don't, think it's, I don't think it's a situation where if you've got three goalies, you've got no goalies, but certainly it's kind of confusing who the number one goalie is right now. But, I mean, the number one thing is they're piling up points right now when they could very well be falling behind, so it's important. Second place in the Metro, Mike. Go ahead. I, I spoke to George McPhee yesterday. It, it almost sounds like Howard. I spoke to George McPhee. And anyway, I don't think that he's going to make a goalie trade before the trading deadline. So people that think that's going to happen, maybe... maybe so Grubauer goes maybe, back down to Hershey? Probably. And maybe he lied to me and, uh, and, uh, and he does make a trade, but I don't think he will. I, I think like anybody that watches this team on any regular basis, and, and I've become, a, it's taken me a while, but I've become a huge fan of this team in many ways. I think you have to look at short term, Ovechkin is having an unbelievable year. Backstrom, uh, Backstrom had nine points last week and wasn't even one of the top NHL three stars. Nine points, seven assists and two goals, and he wasn't one. This guy is so underrated. He's like Scottie Pippen uh, was to Jordan. And so, so that... But big picture, I don't think they have the capable, enough capable defensemen. I think they have a lot of AHL defensemen. Mm -hmm. They don't have enough capable defensemen to actually go a few playoff rounds. And I think if that's not addressed before the trading deadline in some way, or these guys grow up fast, um, there's going to be a similar letdown this season. And you hate to see it because I think they have some mojo working now. LeVar, what's your take on the recent surge by the Caps? It's three straight shootout games. They lost the one in Florida, but they won the, the other two. The two think, straight home games where they erased three goals. I yeah. think it's encouraging because they generally start so slow. And what we've seen mm -hmm. out of the, the Caps are they, they have really rough spots early and even kind of to mid-season. And then once, once games really start mattering, once it gets to that part of the season where you got to either turn it on or, or go home, they, they always seem to do it, no matter what year it is. The fact that they're playing well early, to me, gives me uh, the thought that, okay, they came into the season, everybody said they wouldn't be able to do well in the Metro Division. They, they said that they wouldn't be able to keep pace with, with the, the type of talent and, and that, that was in this new realignment. Well, they have. Now, they're not playing as well as the West, but, but still, when I look at this team playing they're playing at a, a different level. Ovi, as Mike mentioned, is playing at a different level. Backy's playing at a different level. Again, you have three uh, three goalies that are playing uh, well, even though Holtby has had his, his lapses in time uh, this year. It still looks like, to me, a, a pretty well-rounded team. So, sure, they still have things that they have to, to address. I personally feel as though they need to be a more physical team. I think that if they were a more physical team in nature, that that would be the missing link for this team moving forward. But as I talk to, to guys like Alsner and, 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 and we interview these guys, they don't want to be known for that. They want to be known as, as skilled skaters who are able to do uh, things that other teams aren't able to do. If they can continue to develop and stay healthy, I think more than anything else, I think if they can stay healthy, I think that this team can really be where they can make it their best run that we've seen with this with this group. 